Toby Turner, Tabuscus, the man that dominated YouTube for a very long period of time. He started his YouTube career in 2006 and is known for comedic sketches, songs, music videos and vlogs. He's always been high energy, full of piss, vinegar and vigour. The pure excitement with him is what made him popular. That, his comedic edge and his ability to create content so prolifically. By 2013 he even had over 10 million subscribers, one of the top level creators at the time. And this was a mixture of many channels, in fact you had Tobuscus, Toby Games, many many others. He was everywhere, he was on every platform you could think of, he was at VidCon, he was the poster child of YouTube. In 2014 there was a twist in the YouTube world which was the Me Too movement before the Me Too movement. This was where the people were speaking out and start policing themselves on their own platform. This claimed many popular YouTube stars out there, Sam Pepper, Alex Day, v one Eye, and many, many others, and Tobuscus wasn't excluded from this list. In 2016, Toby Turner's ex-girlfriend came forward accusing him of emotional damage, emotional grooming, manipulating her into situations including the dreaded R word, and suggesting that he uses a lot of drugs. These accusations were amplified by people like Killer Keemstar on that weird YouTube channel that I can't remember for the life of me for a split second. Drama alert. There you go. And he was condemned. Heavily. But he never spoke out at the time. In fact, he disappeared for a good few months, going silent on most social media platforms. People unsubscribed to him in droves. His content was shunned. There was never a solid answer from YouTube whether or not he was demonetized or not. He just disappeared. Due to the ongoing criticism, the backlash and things like that, that's when the sponsors slowly started peeling away. Not initially, because once again, this is kind of a Kanye West style thing. When he first started saying highly inappropriate things, the sponsors just remained silent. They didn't want to detach themselves from some massive star. And that's what Toby Turner was, a massive star. Toby Turner stepped away for, I believe it was over a year before he finally made a comeback in which he put up his, not apology, but reply to these accusations. His video was basically explaining how he, he felt that n nobody was willing to listen to his side of the story because if you are stood there in a storm shouting back at the storm, then nobody's gonna hear your words. He's never been charged with anything, and he claims that the allegations are malicious attacks from an ex-girlfriend. He did also admit that yes, he was under a a lot of medication and would drink a lot and has a very vibrant personality. But unfortunately he felt at the time that the, the storm was just a bit too strong and it was easier to disappear than to piss into the wind, so to speak. He felt it was best for him to focus on his personal life and his mental health. Since then he has come back and made some kind of a mini comeback, but nothing huge. He takes part in a few projects from time to time, but he's not as prolific as he used to be. And he certainly is not widely known as he used to be. Toby Turner used to be muttered in the same breath as people like Markiplier and PewDiePie and was right at the top of the YouTube apex. But it just goes to show that if you don't monitor and look after your own behavior, then sooner or later it can come and bite you in the ass. We will never truly know whether or not he did the things he was accused of, but it just goes to show you could be at the top of the mountain one day and the very bottom the next. Bless your face. If you sneeze during this video, bless you. Peace out. Huh. Do, 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 subscribe.